Okay, we're going to look at how to do a rotation uh, with tracing paper. That right here. This question is asking us to rotate triangle ABC, this purple triangle, 90 degrees clockwise. So I'll go in this way, quarter turn, about point P. So here's point P. So this is going to be the part of the plane that's not going to move at all. Um, we're going to trace a triangle and then we're going to hold this part still and turn the rest of the plane around that point. Alright, so here's how we can do a question like this. Take our tracing paper and lay it over top of sort of all the relevant stuff. So we need point P on there plus our triangle. And I'm going to use a sharpie to trace those. Try to do it neatly. Um, I don't really need to connect them on the uh, tracing paper. You might want to, but you don't. it doesn't really matter. And then I think I'll just label them um, ABC just to help me keep track of what's going on. Now, I need to turn it, I'm going to turn it this way, a quarter turn, like that. Um, maybe I will. Just let, um, sort of quickly connect them. Um, and I need to make sure that I know when to stop. If I stop like maybe here, that's not going to be right because I haven't turned far enough. Or if I turn, you know, I could turn too far. So one way of doing that is just, this works really well if you're turning a quarter turn or a half turn or three quarters. If we're on a grid here. I'm just going to trace the grid. Um, it can be anywhere. It's kind of a little easiest, maybe easiest to see if you do it on the, the rotation point, the point of rotation. Um, but you could draw one of those anywhere. And then I'm just going to turn until that has turned 90 degrees because it's easy to check that. All right. Uh, it's a good practice to uh, try to predict where this is going to go. Um, you can do it one point at a time. So this point C was way high above point P, so it's going to end up over here. And my point A is over here, so it's going to go 90 degrees. It's going to be out here somewhere. And B is a little harder. The ones that are a little farther away are a little harder to predict. So I'm going to have my triangle over in this zone here somewhere. Um, and the more you practice predicting, the more accurate you get. All right, now I'm going to actually do it. So I'm going to, point P has to stay still. So I'm just going to hold down my pencil to help it stay still there. And then I'm going to turn the tracing paper until my little vertical horizontal cross here has turned 90 degrees. And then I'm going to go under the tracing paper and mark. So that's point C. Point B is over here. Point A is right there. Let's double check. Yeah, and now I can take a straight edge or a ruler or any other straight edge and trace these. Um, and then we'll label them just to help people understand what's happened. So point C has swung around all the way to here. So that's going to be called C prime. That just means like where C is now. And point B is right here now. So that'll be B prime. And then A prime is right here. And as you practice these, as you predict and then check, you'll just get better at imagining where they're all going to go. All right. So that was how we rotated a triangle 90 degrees clockwise about this point that was off of the triangle. All right. Thanks.